Yo guys, it's Slyra, you already know that today we're back playing some more Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC. We are in this area up here. Um, we bought two tree sentinels and um, we're going across the bridge with the end goal being to make it to the middle uh, of here. But we're going to see uh, what sights and sounds and whatever we can experience along the way. And then we'll see what happens after that. I <laughs> am still feeling a little salty over the past uh, couple videos where I'm just like, man... I don't know how much fun I'm having. I don't even know where I'm going to go after this. I have no idea. So I, I, I w w we might have a conversation. Depends. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that this whole process can just take up the whole episode. Um, but if not, then we'll have to decide what else to do because I'm, I, I don't really know what else to do. Gonna be honest. So we shall see. But we are going across this bridge. At any moment, another random boss could uh, come assault us in some way. Ah, there's actually a side of grace right over here. That is a side of grace, right? Okay. For a second, I was like, wait, is that just like a flower or something? But, uh, no. That is a side of grace. So, go us. We went from one to another. Um, because we already got the tree sentinels out of the way the last time. Let's just go ahead and explore a little bit up here. See if there's any, like, items. Items that aren't just, like, random runes. I'm gonna say no. Uh, I can go look the other side if I would like. I'm gonna assume there's nothing over the edge not that I can see yeah I just want to clear out all the all the space here and then see you know what's around what's 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 down this way any anything fun we got some we got some dogs hanging out here what's up uh, this this one over here is my favorite let me know your favorite so okay I'm glad that that updated thanks for that is that not where we were up there? Yeah, that's the Shaman Village. So let's just like go down the civilized way and not jumping on a bunch of tombstone shaped thingies. To explore that down that direction. So let's let's explore. There's not a ton of enemies around. There, there's not a ton of, you know, really anything around. I'm going to be honest. And part of me thinks that's a good thing, and a part of me, oh no, is very, very scared. Because I was worried that eventually there will come a time when there are a bunch of enemies along the way. I think I would prefer a boss to a bunch of enemies that can just, like, ambush me and hurt me. But I don't really get a say, do I? Alright, well, there's nothing at the bottom here. I'm wondering how far I can go in before they all come to life and attack me at once. Is that a risk I should take? Probably not. Is it a risk I'm going to take? Absolutely. So this is... Okay. I still feel like this is more like the path. But there's also just like so much over this way. It's like what... What secrets are out there? We got fingers coming up from the ground. Um, Little snake thingies asleep. Who knows? Maybe there'll be another ghost slain dragon over here. To just like ruin my day. You do have the ability to summon. And something is appearing. So. Is this a normal enemy? Is this a falling star beast? Okay. Well, well, well. I don't know about this. I am notoriously uh, really bad at fighting falling star beasts. They are an enemy that I am very, very bad against. And I... Will not fault uh, the game. I will not fault the DLC specifically if I'm not able to like, like beat this one. I'm just, I I feel like I'm very bad at falling star beasts. This one is going okay, but I probably shouldn't have said anything because now it's gonna start wrecking me. Oh, I really thought I dodged that. Okay, it's not doing the like extra gravity magic stuff thing. That's the 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 part that like really gets me. Like this, this is one thing. Oh, oh, I blocked, I think all the damage. Oh gosh. There we go. Oh. No. Okay. Somehow I'm not getting hit by stuff that I feel like I should be. And I will take it. Oh, I was too early on that one. Yeah, I'm like really bad at like the timing of that, and then this this stuff happens. That I can usually dodge. Oh, but this this I like 
that. But it's like a whole area. Like, I have no idea what to do about that. Okay. Also, I don't like how the Falling Star Beasts like to run away. And then I have to chase them. And it's very annoying. Because I don't want to... Ow! I don't want to do that. Okay, I think I've used like half my healing. And I can't help but notice that this Falling Star Beast is not at half health. And... Stuff like that happens. Again. And again. I'm trying. Oh gosh. See, that one should have hit me. I definitely dodged early again. Okay. That war- uh, Nope. I thought that worked. There. I finally did a good dodge. I'm assuming these things cannot be Scarlet Rotted, because I feel like it would be by now. There we go. You just gotta wait patiently. Oh my gosh, I actually dodged that. That might be the first time in my life. And then I follow it up by getting killed. Oh, oh, oh. Not yet. Are you coming back? Are you gonna throw rocks? Not yet. Oh, interesting. Ah, oh, why? I'm always so early on that. Whoa, you almost like teleported there. Come on. Oh, I tried to dodge. Like I, I tried to get the um, invincibility frames. I did not get them. All right, well, I'll use my last heal. And that's it. I gotta be perfect from here on out. <laughs> this is how I immediately get hit. Uh, I don't think there's anything different about this Falling Star Beast than, like, the normal ones. So, I mean, I might give it one more chance without a summon, but I I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna summon a Mimic here and just beat this thing up. Because this, this just seems like another Falling Star Beast. And I've already, like, beaten those before. But yeah, I don't, I don't know what it is. I, like, cannot comprehend even slightly, how to effectively, consistently fight these things. This actually seemed like one of the easier ones, uh, if we're being completely honest. Wrong button. Where's my, where's my runes? Oh, come on. Let me get all my runes if I can. Okay. Come back in your little arena. Okay, now you're doing that from the start. You didn't do that before. Okay, there. We got out of it. Yeah, oh, gosh. Again, I got really lucky. Oh, oh, the shield got up in time, and I had just enough stamina to not take too much damage from that. Okay. Come on. I mean, that was a good trade-off, actually. I'll go in for another hit. Ow. Oh, no. Maybe the maybe the trade-off was not worth it. Come on. Oh, I shouldn't have went for another attack. Oh, gosh. Okay, that's fine. What? All right. Reason number 503 that I don't like Falling Star Beast. Um, okay. I, I don't have any, like, legitimate criticisms of the game. I'm just bad at fighting these things. Um, and I am low on patience right now, so... Go... Attack my beautiful Mimic here. Oh, no. You're gonna somehow... Clip me again. Come on! I can't even hit, get my, my runes. They're, wait, where are they? They were right here. Oh, I picked them up. I did not see the, the, the thing that... Visual indicator or whatever that said that I got my runes back. That's on me. Ow. Okay, let's heal again. 
I think one of the reasons that I don't uh, love the Falling Star Beast is I... Oh gosh, I'm using my shield, of course. Uh, is because I don't know how much a Mimic Cure helps. No, I think it does. But it might be one of those bosses where, like, because it's, like, in the middle of, like, a animation, it's kind of hard to get good windows to attack it with. Um, I think I'm kind of contradicting myself because... Or I'm proving myself wrong. Because I'm finding... I am able to attack, maybe. Go, go. Oh, gosh. It did it again. It did it again. I thought I had the right dodge timing, and then instead... Yeah, my Mimic is taking a lot of damage. Oh, gosh. Wait, is it? Oh, my gosh. It, did. it is Scarlet Rotted. Okay, so give it enough time, and I might be able to win. No? Okay, you're going after my Mimic here. I, I am still going to stay away. Nope, just kidding. Not anymore. Ha ha! Ow. Hey, you're going to do your thing. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Alright, let me just heal. Okay, you still, you still got the Scarlet Rot. I was able to put up my shield. Let's go. This is still like an intense fight, even with like the the most OP. Ah, uh, summon in the game helping me out. No. Oh. Oh, that's rude. I knew I dodged early. I knew I did it, and I deserved it. Okay, okay. This is like I, I can still I can see like the difference in like boss design though, because like it attacks slow, like realistically, you should be able to, you know, figure out the boss patterns, learn the dodge timing. I'm just bad at it. And I just don't have the patience right now, but this is like, you know, when Elden Ring boss design was like good back in the good old days of like two years ago. Oh gosh. It's also not Scarlet Rotted anymore. Oh gosh, why did I put my shield down? Why are you coming at me? Go after my mimic here. Oh no. Well, there's good, there it goes. Now I have to try and finish this off myself. Can I do it? I don't know. Why did I go for the second hit? Okay, I'm at full, I'm at full. Okay. Nice jump attack. Uh. Oh. How? Seriously? Uh huh. That still got me. That's crazy. Oh no! I don't trust this. This is what killed me last time. That did not kill me. Why'd I go for the second hit? It doesn't work. It doesn't know. Dang it. This is so stupid. I'm just gonna cut to when I beat him, because I'm not I'm not skipping the falling star beast. That's so stupid. But you don't you don't get to see any more of this. I'm I'm cutting to when I beat it. There, I did it. Alright. All right, we're back. Oh, everybody enjoyed the quick cut and the time away. We got gravitational missile. Uh, very cool. We have 296,437 runes. That should be enough to level up. Um, assuming Hinterland Bridge is where we want to go back to. Yeah. Um, and now let's see what is further on. <laughs> Gosh, I'm just so bad at that fight, and I don't know why. I honestly don't know why. Also, we can power up or whatever, because that's going to help, I'm sure. Can also level up which is also definitely going to help um we'll do well, we get two points from that two points from that uh i guess we'll go another day uh, i could go more mind actually yeah i'll go more mind i remember getting another spirit ash that i was like oh maybe i'll actually 
use it, but I also remember that it needed uh, more FP than what I currently had. Okay, so I think that was up... Oh, that's probably where that Fall Extra Beast was. So let's just follow the path and then go from there. Huh. We might... I don't know. We'll see. I was like, we, you might be able to get one more episode out of me because I, I still have to, like, get to the end of this, report back to Count Emir. Um, and then I know from there there's some bosses involved. There's another set of grace here? Or is this, is this the one that I should have stopped that? Oh, this is just another side of grace. What the heck? They're everywhere around here. That's wild. Okay. Fingerstone Hill. There are a lot of fingerstones, so it is a very apt name. Oh, gosh. But these hands are alive. Leave me alone, living hands. I do not want any part of you. Okay, don't see anything of note here. We can just go. Ooh. Out of the corner of my eye, I was like, is that a cave over there? I can't tell if that's a cave or if that's just a like the base of whatever of the mountain. Yeah, it's just a shadow. Okay. I thought that could be a cave. There's so many little hands. I'm gonna do my best to ignore them. Okay, and I'm I am looking to see if there's any other like cave-like structures anywhere. There's a lot of things here. There's a trap. Oh, yeah. Okay. I thought there was, like, a big boss or something. I was like, there's a lot of messages. But, no, just a very obvious trap. Uh, as we get down here, I'm assuming the middle of these fingers is where we want to go. So let's just keep that in mind as we go forth. This air looks pretty poisonous. I am sort of exploring around to see if there's anything worth it, but all I'm seeing are more hands. Oh, there might be something down there. Oh, gosh. I hate that my curiosity is going to need to check down here to be satiated. Oh, there's a boss in here for sure. Uh, is it a boss? No? All right. There's no health bar. So we're, we're out. We're going to keep going. Oh, a Shadow Realm rune. I... Okay, I was like, wait, can I, like, survive this fall? I can. No boss help bar. Then no time to just stand around and wait. Uh, and fight. And waste time. So there might be other stuff around. But I feel like we're actually getting pretty close. To the middle of the fingers. Oh, gosh. Oh, and they're, like, casting spells and shooting acid and... No, 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 no. Alright. We've got a marker. Let's go to it. Also, oh my gosh, look at it against the wall. How terrifying. Finger Ruins of Deo. Sure. Can you not? Okay, we can summon here. I don't know if that's just because there's a lot of snakes or if there's something that is going to come confront me. I don't think so. Because the other Finger Ruins have the exact same thing where you could just randomly start summoning once there was like a lot of enemies around. But just like the other ones, I'm hoping I can just kind of Avoid, get to the middle, blow the finger, and then we out. And that's exactly what it looks like we can do. We gotta blow the bell, because that's that's how bells work. We've already established this, we've already been over this, don't question it. We got the Cerulean Sea Talisman at plus one. Uh, or seed? Seal? Wait, hold on. Uh, we already have a Cerulean Amber Medallion, which is different then oh yes yeah, seed oh fp restoration yeah, yeah yeah which uh does not matter all that much all right so i'm gonna assume there's nothing else there uh if i need to go back i can make my way back but we are going to go talk to county mirror um i hope and see what happens i don't actually know specifically what happens next i'm just fairly certain that there's a boss fight that is involved somewhere in here Yes. A dream you reached brought that rotten thing out of your mind. A tangled mess can't hurt you. What? Who are you talking to? <laughs> Hello there. Oh gosh. I heard another sound colored by your rest. Was that your hand? I thought you were holding a hand as like a baby. The stars are dark tonight. But rest assured, this is no 
ill omen. On the contrary, I believe that this portends a magnificent starry cascade. Uh -huh. now, take this. My final gift to you. May you join the glimmering stars above. That's another ruins map. Not the old ruins. I don't actually know where that is. I don't remember getting that far on the on a little walkthrough stuff. Um, inventory, where? Oh, here it is. Um, indicates the third and final held up distinct from those shown in the first two maps. And I think that's where we are, is it not? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. But I don't know where else it would be, so that makes me think... I feel like there might be somewhere here that we need to go, like beneath it or outside of it or something like that. Um, I'm probably just gonna look up where to go between this episode and next episode. But we want to go talk to Jalan. I told you once, I have no interest in companionship. But I must admit, Count Ymir did seem very pleased. Perhaps an exception is in order. Emir is a shining star uh -huh. in our eyes. The only star upon the black canvas of the night. Our meeting with the Count taught us of the star-draped sky. We know that we cannot reach out to touch it, but we can peer up at its brilliance and heed its guidance. We will never again lose our way in the night. Cool. I have spoken far too freely. Pay me no mind. Let us focus on our shared purpose, our service to Count Emir. Sure thing. I'm assuming that's the last thing. Be on your way. No. Yeah, okay. And I assume you have nothing else left to say. I should probably just check in. Oh yes. This evening is a sign of a greater night to come. Okay. Of the nature of the world. It is their mother who is damaged and unhinged. The fingers are but unripe children, victims in their own right. We all need a mother, do we not? A new mother, a true mother who will not give birth to further malady. All right, you're starting to speak a little crazy, I think. But, uh, all right, yeah, I'm just going to use the power of the internet to tell me uh, where to go for the third ruins map, and then I will use that to finish out Count Ymir's quest. Um, I don't know when I'll do that. I, I, I promise I will do that. Um, my motivation has really gone down for, for playing this game, so I, I think I still want to play it, but I think playthrough sections might be more um, scattered about than, than consistent. So if I'm just not feeling it, I'm not going to play this game. And if I am feeling it, then you'll get some uploads. You're at least getting one more. And um, after that, I'd still like to play more. I'd still like to at least see what's back here. Um, I like to see everything. I don't know if I can beat it, but if I could at least see the things down here and then maybe see what the final boss is about, um, I'd be pretty satisfied. But I'm going to need a lot of help uh, getting to that point. So we'll see how that works. But um, yeah, uh, it, it will get done probably in some of some way shape or form but either way i hope you have enjoyed this episode and are looking forward to more so let me know but i'll see you next time until then peace out